This is a video series on Tamsis' Tamstorm IDE. In many situations, we want to use our IDE to develop the source code, uh, a project that normally is kept in some sort of a Git repository, whether it's GitHub or company internal Git server. In Timestorm, we've introduced a new level of integration with Git plugin that allows you to import different types of projects into Timestorm and associate those projects with desired SDKs and cross-compile them for desired targets. Let's use as our example a simple timer project that's uh, currently present in uh, github.com. I can copy the URL for cloning of the project and uh, now using Timestorm I can start the import process of this project using a Git plugin. We can select here a Git as a place to uh, import the project from. We can either import from a local repository or from the remote URL. Let's select the remote URL. And you can see that Timestorm took the URL directly from the clipboard and placed it in the import wizard. I have also an option to choose a protocol for cloning the repository, which by default is set to HTTPS. I can also specify the username and password for it. I have an option to select the branch for the project, in this case it's master. And uh, upon uh, selection of the branch, the cloning process starts. The project is being cloned to a local directory. And once this uh, step completes, I have an option to import this project as an Eclipse project. And at Tamsys we've added a dedicated to cross-compilation uh, wizard to import a project as a Timestorm project. You have an option to import the project as a C project, C++, kernel project, or loadable Linux kernel module project. Since Simple Timer is a C++ project, let's select that. You can see that the name is filled in. I have an option to choose executable or shared or static library. It's an executable, so let's select that. At this stage, we can associate the project with appropriate cross toolchain. I can compile with a native toolchain, or I can select a cross toolchain that's uh, recognized by Timestorm. Let's do that. The project is now imported and set up in Timestorm. Let's expand it here. You can see that it's tracked inside uh, Git. It, it has a local representation of Git uh, repository as well. The simple timer project can be edited locally. Uh, so let's open main.cpp in the editor, where you can adjust the code as you see it fit. So you can continue your development with the IDE. When ready, you can simply right mouse click on the project and use Timestorm's built project capability to cross compile the application for desired target. As you can see in the console output, the project has been compiled with an ARM cross toolchain and produced an ARM binary. Let's expand the binaries. Here it is. It's an ARM little Indian binary. The changes to the project are tracked in the local Git repository, which we can access with a context menu by navigating to Team. And in that menu, you can see the commit, push, fetch, and other options that are typically associated with Git. We can also access the history uh, for this particular file, for this particular project. Uh, let's scroll down to history, show in the history. And now you can see the history for the file or project. You can see that it is very easy to uh, work and develop source code with Timestorm IDE source code that's uh, typically kept in uh, your Git repository. But let me show you how uh, to work with Timestorm when uh, developing Linux kernels. As an example, let's uh, take a Linux uh, for Freescale platform. Here it is on a GitHub. 
let's uh, copy the uh, clone uh, URL for this particular project. There are multiple branches, so uh, let's pick one. But um, the branches we're going to still see in TimeStorm during the import. So let's simply copy the URL for the Git repository. And let's start again the TimeStorm import wizard. The process is very similar to application import. We can select the URL for cloning. The information about the repository is automatically pre-populated. And uh, the cloning allows me to grab appropriate branch from that repository. So these are all the different branches that are available in that repository. But I'm interested only in Linux kernel, let's say, 414. So let's select 414 in here and let's click Next. You can see that the initial branch is set to 414, which can be changed later on. So uh, let's uh, click Next and uh, the cloning starts. Uh, the Linux kernel project is fairly large, so cloning it uh, from remote repository to your local um, folder will take a little bit longer. The cloning process is almost done and in the next step we can choose to import this project from the local directory like before using the TimeStorm new project wizard. Instead of C++ project we are selecting kernel project this time. Let's provide the project name first. So Freescale, Freescale FSLC. Let's associate this project with a cross tool chain because we want to build it for IMX. And let's now select a default configuration file for the Linux kernel. So let's navigate through the local representation of the Linux kernel and select the appropriate configuration file for the Linux kernel. With that selection in, let's continue. Let's copy the Linux kernel into a project, a TimeStorm project, which is a standard default step for TimeStorm. And now we have to specify the Linux kernel specific uh, information. So type of the Linux kernel image architecture and the load address. Let's complete the wizard and finish importing the project into TimeStorm as the Linux kernel project. As part of the import, TimeStorm is going to configure Linux kernel source tree to match the configuration file that we've selected in the process. This is why this additional window popped up. The Linux kernel is now set up in TimeStorm as a project. And you can see that under build targets, uh, we have not the application build targets, but Linux kernel specific build targets. We also have an option to configure the Linux kernel using the context menu. So let's bring this up again, starting menu config on the Linux kernel project. And now we can reconfigure Linux kernel to our particular needs. Timestorm from now on can be used uh, as an IDE to develop Linux kernel code, modify existing sources, and then when everything is done, the changes can be submitted back to the Git server where that Linux kernel is being maintained. You can edit the source code directly in the editor provided by the Timestorm IDE, introduce appropriate changes, and when ready, you can cross-compile your Linux kernel using the cross toolchain that was selected during the import process. To do that, simply select Build Project from the Context menu. In a console output window, you can see the cross toolchain that is being used to cross-compile your Linux kernel sources. I'm going to cancel this uh, compilation process as it's not a goal of this video. You can access the git history as well as different commits by using the git perspective in TimeStorm where you have access to all the branches for the source code that you're using. 
therefore allowing you to uh, perform any Git operations on that source. So to summarize, TimeStorm can be used to uh, develop source code, application and system level source code that typically is kept in uh, your Git repository, allowing for collaboration between different team members and also perhaps different teams. Thanks for watching. Please see our other TimeStorm videos. Thank you.